Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel FF Analytics. On this channel, we find facts and find some figures. So in today's episode of Fabric with Francis, we are going to be connecting SQL endpoints to our BI desktop. So how do we do this? Come One of the major breakthrough with Fabric is the direct link technology, which is storing data in form of data tables and packet files. Before now, what we have is import mode and direct query. Direct query is slow, but it is written, whereas your Import mode is very fast, but it's latent and can be duplicative. And from our previous video where we are talking about one link, where we mentioned that Fabric is only about a singular copy of data. So if you are using Power BI Desktop, what happens to one copy of data? So guys, let us find out. For sure, we know that if you publish a report in Power BI Desktop, together with it, especially when you're on import mode, you are publishing both the report and the underlying data set, except if it is direct query. What we expect from direct technology is that it's going to give us the combined capacity of import mode and direct mode and direct query mode. So let us find out what is really happening with the new direct link mode. Is it available in Power BI desktop or is it just in Power BI service? Let us find out. I have connected using the three methods, direct link, direct query and import mode already. But one thing is striking in the size of the files that we have here. We can see that we have about seven kilobytes of data for direct link, which is the new technology as expected. And then we have about 40 kilobytes for direct query. And then we also have 277 kilobytes for import mode. Yes, that is not unexpected because import mode is actually importing and having a copy of the data set inside of your Power BI desktop. But with direct link and direct query, that is not happening. And we can see that with direct link, it is even smaller compared to direct query. So let's find out if the direct link is actually an improvement or a combination of the advantage of both the import mode and the direct query. So in this session, I'm going to fetch the SQL endpoint of the link house we'll be using for our demonstration. So I will click on copy SQL connection string right now, and then that will be copied to my clipboard. Then I'll take it to Power BI desktop and use it to connect to this link house. So in your Power BI desktop, you click on import from SQL server. Then that will give you the, the interface to paste your SQL endpoint. So you paste it to your server. And once that is done, you can specify your database name, which is optional. And then you can then define the connectivity mode if you want import mode or direct query. Or if you have SQL query that you want to paste, you can paste them here. But in our case now, I had done all of this. I just want to show us how to do it. So now, if you want import mode, you go for import mode. If you want direct query, you go for the direct query mode. Then how do we find direct link mode? So to get to your direct link method, all you have to do is to come to one link data hub right here, and then you select your link houses. So once you select your link houses, then you navigate to the specific link house that is putting the data set that you want to connect to. In our case now, it is stroke link house. So you select that, and then that will bring in all your data models, all the measures that you have created in your table. So I have done this just to save us our time. I'm going to just navigate to the file that I had created earlier. So these are the three files that I had created, one for direct query, another one for import mode, and then one for direct link. So let me show us our direct link mode. So I will navigate to our modeling view, and then once I switch the modeling view, you can see our star schema. And then when you over on the bar, you can see a blue accent that is telling us that this is a live connection to SQL Server Analysis. So if I go to import mode and go to our modeling view also, we'll see, we'll see that uh, it's, not, it's just showing us that it's import mode for our storage mode. Then I'll go to direct query mode also. Then I'll go to our modeling view and then I'll over on it, and then we'll see the ascent also telling us that this is direct query. So find out the speed, I'll go back to my own tab, and then I will navigate to my optimized tab. From optimized tab, I can then select my performance analyzer. Then I can click on start recording. Then I'm going to interact with my, with my reports and then change the slicer. Then I can stop my performance analyzer. Then I'll do the same thing for direct query and direct link. So on my direct link screen, I'll go back to my report view where I can then go back to optimize also, then performance analyzer, and then click on start recording. Then I'll also interact with my report using the slicer, female, male, 
and order. So I will repeat the same thing for direct query also. For direct leak, I will repeat this. Now let us compare the outcome of our performance analyzer. For import mode, we can see that it's taking 1775 milliseconds to render our chart. Let us compare that to direct query. Direct query is giving us 4402. Expectedly, import mode is going to be faster than direct query. But what is the outcome for direct leak, which is the new technology? For direct leak, we can see that we have 3000. 334 which is not as fast as import mode but definitely faster than direct query so let's just check the second interaction on second interaction we can see that it's taking about 670 milliseconds for our report to be rendered that is for direct leg which is the new technology we then compare that with import mode so on import mode we have 274 so on second level of interaction Import mode is actually still faster than direct leak, but we are going to now compare it now with direct query. With direct query, we have 566. So, on second attempt, direct query is faster than direct leak, but import mode is faster than both uh, method. Now, we want to compare the third level of interaction. For direct query, is taking about 540 microseconds, and also for import mode is taking 253 expectedly and lastly for direct leak is taking about 909 so the performance of direct leak is still unpredictable within power bi desktop for now it is limited to power bi service and there is no performance analyzer on power bi service to actually check and compare the speed of direct leak and direct query so until next time when we have improvements and that link is now available on Power BI Desktop. Bye. <music>